Okay, so as you get started with chapter one, um, the first chapter here in the book, it's going to begin with uh, defining business. And so as we do that, I want you to be thinking about a, a local business, um, maybe a, a local restaurant or something, uh, where, wherever you're at. And uh, I want you to think about what is it that they, they are, what's their purpose? What are they, what are they doing? Um, and so as you think about that, um, they're, they're probably providing something, right? So they're providing a good or a service. Um, so in the case of a restaurant, it's actually a service. Um, and the service that they're providing you is, is the fact that you were too lazy to cook for yourself. And so they're cooking on behalf of you. Um, so they're, they're serving you by, by doing something that you chose not to do. Um, and in this case, it's cooking. So they're providing a service uh, or a good, and, um, but they're not just doing it uh, to be nice and, and, and uh, with no benefit in mind. They're doing it because they want to get some money from you. And um, it's not that they just want money, all right? Um, they, they do want money, but they want, a certain, they want enough money that they make what's called a profit. So um, they sell a good or service to you. In exchange, you give them some money. But the amount of money that they are asking for is going to be more than the amount of money it costs them to provide that service or product to you. <clears throat> in doing so, their, ex their revenues, the money that they brought in, uh, exceeds their expenses, uh, the cost of them providing the good or service to you, and they make a profit. So they're <clears throat> They're providing a good or service for a profit. Um, and in order to do that, they have to coordinate some resources. And every business has four resources. So they have, uh, if you think about what it takes, uh, if I go down to the restaurant, um, first of all, they've got to have a restaurant there. That means that they've got to, they've got to buy some land. They have to build a building. They have to uh, <clears throat> get it all prepped which means that they have to have some money, some financial resources. Uh, once they've got the financial resources taken care of, uh, they have to actually have some people there. Uh, the, the people are the human resource. Um, so they've got some people, they've got a building, I go down there, I order a hamburger, and now they better have some actual hamburger in the store and some buns. And that means they have to have what are called material resources. And then uh, the last thing is they, they need to have some sort of informational resource. So the informational resource is very broad. It's the marketing aspect of business, but it's everything from knowing what products to sell, uh, how to make our products, uh, where, to, where to build our business. Uh, so our four resources, again, are um, human, material, financial, and informational. So the definition of business then is the organized effort. So when we're talking about an organized effort, we're saying these four resources. So it's an organized effort of the four resources uh, to produce and sell for a profit, a good or service. All right, so good or service, for profit, organize our resources. And uh, the last part is that it has to satisfy society's needs and we can throw wants in there as well because there's a lot of things that we buy that we want n not that we necessarily need but if so if it does those things if it if it meets our needs and our wants and um, we're organi we're organizing our resources we're selling something for a profit then w we're engaged in business okay Oops, sorry here, trying to. All right, so we talked about profit a bit. Uh, and just again, real fast, I just wanted to show you. Uh, profit is when we bring in money from selling something. Um, so if we sell uh, a pen, for example, I got a pen right here. So if we sell these pens um, and we sell them for a dollar a piece and we sell a hundred of them, we brought in a hundred dollars by selling these pens. But if it, <clears throat> then if it costs us 50 cents 
per pen to make it, so that it would cost us, you know, for the the plastic and the rubber and the ink and the metal and everything that goes into this and the people that helped make it and the marketing, uh, all that is 50 cents per pen. Then our sales revenue is a dollar per pen. Our expenses are 50 cents per pen, which means our profit would be 50 cents per pen. Um, if we if it costs us more if it costs us a dollar and a quarter to produce the pen and provide it then our expenses would exceed our sales revenue and in that case we call it a loss okay so if if our sales revenue minus our expenses is positive it's a profit if it's negative it's a loss all right um, there's quite a few videos to go through for chapter one if you start going through those it'll explain different concepts and then uh, I'll have another video a little bit later on in this chapter talking about the different competition types. So uh, good luck as you work through this course. Bye.